and today, Oklahoma has been also the home to a large number of earthquakes. Yes, today. We might feel the tremors. Most of us don't see the impact of the earth shaking, though. We wondered what size magnitude quake it would take to damage our homes, maybe even take down a skyscraper in downtown Oklahoma City. Tonight, we find out our earthquake number. Right now, our light's shaking quite a bit here and is now calming down as another earthquake has just hit. I still hear a few lights rattling here in our studio. Just about all of us felt Oklahoma's largest ever recorded earthquake last November. Was coming down and but unless you lived near the epicenter in Prague, I was scared. chances are you didn't have any damage. With so much seismic activity in the Sooner State in the past few years, we wanted to know what magnitude earthquake would be too much for Oklahoma's red dirt to handle. Seismologist Austin Holland has his theory. A magnitude 7 earthquake will have widespread damage and uh, quite a bit of catastrophic failure in older buildings. <laughs> the San Francisco Bay Area <laughs> is all too familiar with earthquake destruction. I traveled to San Francisco. The earthquakes aren't just restricted to California. When asked David Schwartz with the U.S. Geological Survey, it's very variable. What's done to keep buildings standing? This building has bolts going through it to hold the structure together, and that building has external bracing. This is the old Hayward City Hall. They closed it down. And evidence of earthquake damage. You can look in. The fault yeah. is all around us. Yeah, the yellow curve, you hear the cracks. That's a pretty good gap. If you look along the wall, you'll see how it's it curved. curves. Uh, it curves because the fault goes right through it, and very, very slowly, it's pulling it apart. Most of modern houses in Oklahoma. John Osteros assesses the safety and damage of buildings after earthquakes all around the world. Get them back! He was even called to Oklahoma City days after the Murrah bombing. When they evacuated everybody else, I went in to make sure that everything was okay. But he says if a strong earthquake shook Oklahoma City, he wouldn't want to be inside one of our buildings. In a strong earthquake, uh, a lot of the unreinforced masonry buildings, perhaps some of the precast buildings, will not perform so well. And uh, I would expect to see some failures in those buildings. But while most of the structures here in San Francisco, even the older ones like the Golden Gate Bridge, were built to withstand earthquakes, those in Oklahoma City weren't. Oklahoma City Plan Review Supervisor Jeff Hines says every new building must meet seismic code. But there isn't an inspector to make sure they're earthquake ready. The architect signs and seals the plans promising they have met code. When they sign and seal plans, they, they put their credibility on their line, their license, and their liability. Devon officials tell us the tower exceeds current seismic code and was built that way mostly for our high winds. Most of Oklahoma City's other high rises were built before we knew earthquakes were such a threat. Osteros says it's not the skyscrapers we need to worry about. For earthquakes in Oklahoma, we'd expect to see a higher frequency of vibration, which is going to affect low to mid-rise buildings, you know, maybe maybe up to eight or ten stories. Once you get above that, the building is, is so flexible that it really doesn't feel the vibration. Wrong direction, there's another car. Gosh! And all our experts believe that magical seven magnitude quake is a long way off from the Sooner State. The large events are very unlikely events. They're much less likely than the magnitude threes. It's going to be a long night for a lot of people. I don't think people in Oklahoma should the house. Austin Holland says there are several factors that come into play to determine how much damage an earthquake can cause. They include distance from the epicenter, age and design of structures, and the soil and foundation under a building.